to the new Five Star contact form that uses Recapture 3 Invisible Capture. It's taken some time, but we've now got it working and working correctly. Um, a lot of people have asked for Recapture 3, um, so this is how it works. So, you first of all, you'll import your extension. Um, So import on the MPEX file and it will be imported into MobiRise and it will appear somewhere, here we go, it will appear in the extensions. Okay, so now let's go to the page and we'll see how we add it to MobiRise. Okay, well We've already added it via the extensions. So you'll see that in extensions under forms, you will see. I wish they'd get rid of those prompts. Um, you will see it somewhere. See it somewhere. There it is the uh, five star. RCV3. So we've now got our form on the page. So we go to the cog, and as you can see, you can show the title or hide the title, show the text, hide the text. You enter your Google site key here, that's the public key. Um, and with the new anti spam feature, uh, the email addresses to send to are now entered into the secret PHP file, which you just need to look at the user guide. Um, if you want to redirect after send to another page, then you enter the page number you want to redirect to. And if you want to send a copy to the form submitter, then you click the uh, button on for that. Um, if you want to make the required field borders coloured, uh, you can do so by clicking the button there and then you can select the colour you want the required borders to be. So we'll make them pink. Then the name of your site. So we'll call this my demo uh, RCV3 site. Then the f whether you want to show the phone field or not. And as you can see, when you uncheck it, the phone field there disappears um, and then whether you want it to be a required field or not so it can be an optional field and then the same for the subject from the mobile to the address line one again they've all got the option of being required if or not required and the town field uh, is county and state the country field zip code and you can make any of these optional and the same with the company field here. In this case, we're going to uh, remove the company field. There we go. Um, then, whether you want to show the message box um, and comments, so you can use it just as a registration form if you wish, or things like that. Um, and you can change the prompt. So uh, uh, you could change that to. go so now it says enter your inquiry details okay then you've got an option for a drop down field now this field is here but it will not display anything while it's in the mobilize editor but as soon as published it will display the options you've selected so we're going to show the field and the prompt is select your let's see what should we call it car make um, and whether it's a required field and whether it allows multiple choices, so whether you can have more than one selected. So let's put some options in here. Let's have Ford, Vauxhall, uh, Rolls Royce, uh, Bentley, Toyota. 
and you just fill in as many in order that you want to display and so on and then any that you leave blank will not be used and you can enter up to 20 items then you've got the custom radios so you can change that um, to say do you have a license um, and then option one could be yes option two could be no and we don't want to show option three okay and then we can select a date field um, so that could be your date of birth for example so we'll put on here date of birth and then the date bigger date format and the start date so if it's a date of birth we'd want it to start from probably a hundred years ago so plus one and uh, minus 100 years and then we'd wanted to show dates up to 18 years ago because you've got to be uh, we'll say 17 years ago because we've got to be 17 to be able to drive so the latest date they could put in is minus 17 years from today's date um, and then the maximum view that, you know, the, what that means by the maximum view is the display of the date picker whether it's in centuries whether it displays the centuries whether it displays uh, the years whether it displays the months and so on um, and we want the start view I'll have the start view as number two in this case. So that's the first view that they will see, whether the date is required. Now we don't want to show date two in this case, so we can skip those. Now we go to the custom field one prompt, um, and that can be anything you like. So it could be uh, uh, many oops can't spell how many cars in your family um, then we want that to be displayed and we want it to be a required field and here um, there's the, this one uh, we'll have a prompt of uh, what color is Main car. Okay, and we want to show the field. We don't want it to show the sec, the agenda. We don't want it to show their website URL or their Facebook page or their LinkedIn page. Um, we're going to allow them to upload attachments, and they're going to be up to four megabit in size, and we're going to allow them to upload up to four files. We want to show the terms, uh, we want to show the privacy, and then we can change the submit button color, and let's make that pink. Um, then we can change the top padding and the bottom padding, so we'll make them both two. And then we want to display a background image. So we just let's select an image. So let's select images of a car as we're our fields are all about cars so let's pick that one okay so now we want to change the color here so we'll change that to white and we'll make that bold and of course you can change the text there as well um, so we'll make that bold and we'll make that white there we go right, and we've got what we've got film uh, I think we said pink for the uh, required fields didn't we Required fit orders pink. Okay, so now we have our form all filled up. Now we just want to change some colors here. So we change that one to white. And that will change them as well. Uh, we also want 
that one white. There we go. Uh, this will show a proper upload panel when, when it's published. And as we're using pink as our theme colour here, let's make, in terms of use pink and the privacy policy, we'll make that pink too. So now we have our form. It's already completed. As I say, the, the drop downs will show when it's published. And you can see all our new, new form fields are filled in. So if we now publish this, oh, well, first of all, we need a thank you page because we're redirecting we're redirecting our page to a thank you page so let's change the page name to thank you okay so let's add a block So let's make that left, make that left, left. Let's show buttons. So make that. There we go. So there's our thank you page that uh, they'll get redirected to after the email has been sent. So let's publish that. Okay. So that's been published. So now we can FTP the deep the site to the internet already uploaded to the assets folder and rcv3 uh, mail we've already uploaded our secret php which we'll just have a look at and in the secret php you add your google secret key for our for version 3 and then the email address you want to send the the email from uh, the contact form from that must be the first one and then separated with a comma you can add additional email addresses to receive the 
uh, submission from the form. So that in this case, it will send it to both those email addresses and both will be from that email address. So that's the secret PHP. That will never be displayed online. So uh, it will prevent any bots from picking up your email address. So now if we go and have a look at the form. So here is our contact form that we just filled in. As you can see now, our drop down now has the car makes, and they can put select from the drop down. And you can see the invisible recapture is now working. So you fill the form in. So let's just put uh, S, mail, uh, your name email, phone number, uh, mobile cell, address one, uh, okay. And then inquiry details. And then you select your car make, your date of birth, and as you can see, you can we've set it so it only shows years to start with. So say we were born in 1956 in June, the 19th. Um, how many cars in your family? Three. Say, what is the color of your main car? Blue. Do you have a license? Yes. Uh, upload any files and you can select JPEG, GIF or PING, Word, Docs, Excel, Spreadsheets and PDF documents. So let's just pick a couple of images. Mr. Beans. Okay, so they're now being uploaded. They've now been uploaded. Um, accept the terms. Accept the privacy. And there we go. So our message has now been sent. So if we have a look at the emails. So we've got the emails here. So we've got the contact from our website and you've received an email here are all the details as you can see date of birth company card blue so on and so forth attached two files and there are the two files that were attached okay and then the user gets a copy of it um, but obviously they don't get sent the images because they are they've just sent them so it just tells that they've attached the two files and that's it so there we have it so enjoy